the new analysis of that data brought the reliable change index on the ORS up to six, um, increased from five. So, you know, that's another change that is um, significant. And that's just simply that that new data set, the new standard deviation of the ORS at the first session, um, the different, uh, combine that with the reliability of the measures, um, and it comes up with a new, uh, it's just a formula that you stick those numbers into it, the first session, the last session, standard deviation, you configure the standard error, and you um, factor in the reliability of the ORS, and then that gives you the reliable change index. And so um, that increased from five to six. And if you look at, you know, if you consider 19 to 20 being the average outpatient intake ORS score, and you're looking for at the um, 50th, at the at the 50th percentile or average trajectory of that person coming in with an intake of 19 or 20, you'll see that they change the reliable change index amount, and that's exactly the way it should look. By the way, uh, Bill and I went through the data set at every intake score and figured the means and plotted those trajectories and you know what, that provided a nice smell test for how the trajectories operate um, and I'm very happy with how it all lines up with the descriptive um, data that came from the Myocomes database and also the linear regression equations, actually it was a longitudinal multi-linear uh, regression equation that configured into a cubic model if you know anything about stats. So this is a far more sophisticated look at the data than the first set of algorithms were. Of course, there's nothing uncomplicated about linear regression equation, but I just wanted to tell you that this latest kind of path that this data brought, the very latest statistical methodology to understand these algorithms, and thanks to you know, Michael Toland for that.